And now our next chef began his culinary career at the age of 14 as an apprentice in one of Germany's top restaurants. He has cooked in 11 different countries around the world and in 1981 began the legendary gourmet market in Grandview where his current restaurant Spaggio stands today. Please let's have a big welcome for Chef Hubert Seifert. Chef. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. We appreciate Thank it. You. And you're going to do Thank you. You're going to do a wonderful Tuscan bean stew for us. Absolutely. And we're excited to watch. So go ahead. Yeah, we needed something vegetarian. Somebody told me, you know. This soup I think started with people when there was a lot of vegetables in their garden. They had leftover breads from the day before or two days before. So that's what we got here. We got some cheese and we got some bread. So I got here a heavy soup pot. Let me heat it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, olive oil. And that's what we got in Tuscany, plenty. So we start with olive oil. And I like butter and olive oil, all these things, because it's good for my skin. <laughs> now, earlier they did the spec makeup thing. I told my wife now every morning before I leave the house, I would like to see some makeup. <laughs> so now, like we do on TV, we got one pot here, another one right there. I hope you got enough of the soup. There is plenty more to get. So what we do, start off with some chopped onions, like here and some chopped garlic. I hope you can smell it. It is absolutely fabulous. So, and then what we got here, some diced celery, some diced carrot, and what we got next are these beans. These are these uh, Italian beans. They they call them cannelloni, uh, can not cannelloni, cannellini beans, like that. So this here, we cook until it becomes translucent. The onions and all the rest of the vegetables, like that. The next thing is then, add tomatoes to it, like this. Well, that garlic sure smells good, Chef. Is it mm. good? Mm. Yeah, that's uh, what we want. And here we got some kosher salt. Ooh, how fancy. Like that. So, let me see. Next, time, next thing, we got zucchini. You can also use yellow squash. That's fine. And then we got some Savoy cabbage. So, now... This here all together, let me get organized. And not my wife, she gets upset with me. I don't want to do this. Some white wine and some vegetable stock. There we go. So this all together, we let simmer. Hour, two hours, three hours, whatever. You can walk away from it on low heat. Watch the young and the restless or whatever you want to. That's not a WOSU show. <laughs> so then my wife is not watching WOSU. Ah, well. That's bad. Good to know. And then what we do, put this bread in there. You see, now this soaks all together. When you ate it, you could taste it. Flavors all come together. Now, I like always some parmesan on top. You know, when you want, you can add chicken to it, you can add beef to it, but that is the basic Tuscan bean soup. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. 